Hey guys, this is Dead at Zero, and this is episode one of my Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial uh, session. Uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how to connect two IP phones to each other using Cisco Packet Tracer in its version 5.3. First thing you do is connect the router to the switch, and then switch to each uh, IP phone. The next thing you do is you, uh, since we're not using power over ethernet, we're going to plug in the IP phones using the uh, external cable. Now next we're going to go to the uh, router and we're going to set the commands for the router. Uh, you should get this screen, you click N for no, enable config T, then you go to uh, whichever interface you connect to the switch which would be 0 slash 0 or 0 slash 1 I pick 0 slash 0 and you tell it to no shut that means that it tells the router to turn on that port next you give the IP address you want I use 10.0.0.1 .0 .0 next I give it a, a DHCP pool I name my phone you can name that anything you want voice uh, IP anything like that network 10.0.0.0 255.0.0.0 Default router The default router will be the IP you gave the port on the router which would be 10.0.0.1 for me and then option 150 IP and then the same port for the router for the default router The option 150 actually turns on the uh, ability for the router to give out IP addresses for the phones. Next we go to a <laughs> telephony service and we set how many uh, the maximum IP phones we can have. Do max e phone and then the number that you want. It can go from 1 to 42 I believe. I picked 5 and max DN and I picked 5 on that too. Next, I'm going to set the IP source, which would be the router for me, for its 10.0.0.1 again. And that is wrong, because I didn't put the port. You have to put the port that it's going to connect to. And for default, it's port 2000 here on Cisco Packet Tracer. And now I'm going to auto assign one or 4 to 6 and 1 to 5. Auto assign one, two, six, five. Next, I am going to exit. I'm going to set the e phone numbers. E phone DN1. This tells the router that there's going to be one phone and its number is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001. Next, I'm going to do e phone DN2. This tells her out there's a, another phone and to give it two. And I'm going to set its number as 0002. After this, we're going to the switch. And in the switch, we're going to configure the uh, switch port modes to access and give it the ability to. Yeah. Interface range F0 slash 0 or 1 to 24. 24, uh, that's just the most on the switch. You can set that as any number 5, 10, whatever. Switch port mode access. Make sure you don't set it to the trunk, and it won't work. Switch port voice VLAN one. Only have one VLAN at the moment, but you can set that in the VLAN as long as it's configured on the switch and the router. Uh, that's all that you need to do to connect these two uh, IP phones together. I'm just waiting here for them to populate the uh, line numbers and the IP addresses. It'll take a probably 10-15 seconds. I'm going to see which one goes first. 
top or bottom, which one goes first. And it looks like the bottom one got it first. It's 0001. Okay, I'm going to uh, test this. You always want to test it, no matter what. Click on it and go to the GUI. Open the phone. I'm just going to do a random number, 11111. Since I didn't set this number in it, it says unknown number. If I do 0001, that's itself, so it says it's busy. And if I do 0002, that will be the other phone. It should ring out, and it does. And now we'll go to the other phone and make sure that it picked up. The red light, it's blinking. That means it's operational and we're connected. Let's go back to the first phone and we're connected. Thank you guys for uh, your time. Rate, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'm going to put out another video of connecting two routers pretty soon. Uh, watch that one too. Thank you very much.